All right, we're finally here, the final episode of season one. It has been a journey. Lots and ups and downs in terms of the show, lots and ups and downs in terms of copyright, but let me just say, I am happy I took this journey with you guys. You guys, it's been a heartfelt one, it really has. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Q, episode 25, the finale of season one. Last episode was a heart-wrenching defeat at the at the hands of Alba Josai, Oikawa, but it taught us so, so much. It literally made us so much stronger, and like I said last episode, it's not about if you fall on your ass. It's are you going to stay there? Are you going to get up? Because if you stay on your hands and we, stay on your hands and knees, that's, that proves that you are weak. We must be strong. We must be Karasuno. So remember, guys, with the beginning and last episodes, first and last episodes of every season of every anime I'm watching, the full length, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available to everyone. So if you guys are watching this one and the next episode, because it's going to be the first of season two, check out the description. Top of the top link in the description should be the full length. And if you guys like that format, want to consider watching that for the rest of the show, maybe consider checking out that Patreon down below. If Patreon's not really your thing and you guys still want to support, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment. It really helps push me out there into the algorithm. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and for the updates. Of course, let's hop into this. Hi Q, episode 25, the third day. So many memories and experiences we've had from literally the past like five episodes of the show. All just incredible. Literally amazing. Is that all the things that are going on in his mind while he's in class? Yep. To say he has a lot on his mind is most definitely an understatement. That's me right there. Oh, never mind. I thought Tanaka was out, but that's... I, I disrespected Tanaka by saying that. Obviously, he wouldn't be asleep in class. That's my boy. The last time we're going to hear this opening, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make do. I'm going to love it while I can, you know? I promise. No crying this episode either. No crying. I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's my first time hearing Ushikawa talk. Why does this man sound like he's fucking 30? <laughs> Why does this man sound like a sound like fucking Uvo again? What the fuck? I understand where you're coming from, but come on. You're not wrong. I don't think he does. Alright, let's go see what this Oh, Kyoko's down there listening. She doesn't talk that much, but she is so gorgeous, man. She is breathtaking. Kageyama's always at the vending machine getting his juice. I feel him. But this time he's doing it angrily, so it's different. It was probably nerve-wracking for Yamaguchi. And now it's way more of like a competitive environment. Volleyball was fun to him, you know. Especially with Tsukushima being his friend and seeing the skill of all these other players. Yeah, see, that's the thing, though. It's competitive. It's not just casual now. But he sees what he can be, so of course he'd want to have his ambition. Just for that one shot. All worth it at the end. Yamaguchi, he's got the drive. He wants to do it. I have faith in my boy. He's going to do it. And then it cuts immediately to Tsukushima, of course. 
境に専念した方がいい。正直、部活を続けてお前にメリットがあるとは思えない。The average person。先生、俺、メリットがあるからバレエやってるんじゃないんです。Obviously, he has a passion for it, you know? But the average person would obviously want him to focus on his career slash going to college, of course, you know? I could see where he's coming from. Uh, we played a fantastic. I hope so. Yeah, no coaches. You're not wrong. Wow. That's something I saw, of course, but I didn't really put two and two together. That's just a level of play that's nuts. Adaptability is insane. The way they animate that is just god damn insane. That way Kawa's going through what Hinata's going through. He sees that obstacle he can't get over. That's so reminiscent of the like the first couple episodes to me, just seeing that hallway with the gym, hearing that sound. I think Takeda is saying this very well. I think he said that exactly how he should. Laid it all laid out on the table. I love those kind of drills, man. That's so fucking awesome. Just spike, receive drills. They've had a lot of pent up frustration since that last game. I haven't heard Hinata get to scream and let it all out like this yet, you know? He seems like the type of person to have these kind of moments. You know, I'm the same way. If I just get one solid vent session like this, you know, I'm good afterwards. But he definitely needs this. So does Kageyama. Get it. Do it. Do it. Go through it, man. All of it. Keep going, baby. Every ball in that goddamn basket. Imagine someone else just walks in. What the flying fuck is going on here? <laughs> that is an awkward position to end up in. I won't lie. So was that one. Exactly what I was talking about. I'm saying, what are you guys doing? I agree. That is true. Practice is all supposed to be canceled today. But then why are you here? Yamaguchi, Suki as well. I love these guys. You think I'm you think I'm going to the spring tournament without Daichi, Sugawara, and Asahi? You're crazy. And he's like, what? The entire team is in here? And the third years? Everyone's out here just practicing? Oh, look at the motivation. Look at the determination on these guys. <laughs> look at that. They're just doing it as like a normal practice. And then coach pulls through. Yeah, I gotta say, I love Ukai. Ukai is so dope. Shiratorizawa. 100%. That doesn't shock me. That 
is a super close game, but they won 2-0, right? That was the second set. They didn't even get a set against him, bro. Shiro Torizawa, holy fuck. Even in just our prefecture. Not to mention nationals. Ooh, that looks so sick. I fully believe it too. I fully <laughs> don't show me fucking that, man. That's so cool. Look at their faces. That's like me. That's literally me. If I had a little anime blushing, fucking someone just draw some anime blushing fucking things on me. Oh, everybody's training, man. Date Kogio, fucking Nekoma. <laughs> Nekomata. The view from the top, the view from the summit, the view from the peak, man. This brings you back to like episode fucking six or whatever it was. Just a fantastic end of the first season. How can you not watch this first season and just be like, man, I love these fucking guys. Oh, no throwback. Look at my boys. This is junior high going into high school. Yep. That's episode one. That is a throwback when we just joined the team. They made us have our 2v2 against Tsukushima and Yamaguchi. I thought, I remember when that was the hypest thing for me in Haikyuu. That's how you know times have fucking been flying. Who would have thought, bro? I mean, I know I love anime. Who would have thought I'd be disconnected to a volleyball anime, bro? I swear, if when I was growing up, someone said that to me. You're like, Darius, one of your favorite animes of all time is going to be a volleyball anime. I wouldn't believe him. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that fantastic ending. The camera did shut off two different times throughout that, so hopefully editing is not going to be too big of a bitch for me, but it was a fantastic episode. Like always, enjoyed it utmost. Like, it was just so amazing the, the, the way we're able to keep our, our spirits up, you know, and to keep the third years on and still passion. I mean, oh, I love it. And talk it up. It's... Uh, it's I get them completely like I'm like you guys need to focus on like your future but like and and especially with the whole like make a decision that you hopefully won't regret 10 years down the line that's so open to interpretation like he could easily play volleyball do horrible not get the job he wants to and regret that's his regret 10 years down the line or he could get the job he wants to end up you know being a, a good money and stuff but then always be thinking damn what if I won the fucking spring tournament back in high school? You know, like everyone's regrets are going to be different. Everyone's life choices are going to be different. Everyone has regrets, obviously. But, you know, it's like, damn, this uh, such a good show. Literally, that's all I could say. If I had to sum this fucking every this season up into a sentence, this show is uh, immaculate. That's what my sentence would be. Like if someone, hey, make me watch Haikyuu in one sentence, I'd be like watch it fucker and i would end the sentence right there and i'd slap them if they didn't watch it you know what i'm saying like jesus i am so excited for season two so excited for the future um yeah season two where we riot is literally the top comment on fucking crunchyroll and this is in 2014 i wish i was watching this live hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did season two is right around the corner it's gonna be an experience i will see you guys there don't miss out. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Dapper Squad. Oh, so much. Have a great day. Peace out, y'all.